years and years and years ago, people believed that the Earth was flat. And then scientists discovered that they it was actually a circle. Well, it's kind of more of an oval shape. It's just a very fat oval. Um, and obviously, years and years and years later, they began to build rockets which enabled them to fly see. into outer space and see what and the shape was see the shape well yeah they could see the shape and they could see lots of other things as well now neil i'm strong okay so we're Wait, going to try and find you've been in space no neil armstrong has been in space he did not have a stand on he certainly wasn't me is he in space? Yeah. It's so blurry! Because it was filmed a very long time ago when cameras weren't very good. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so that's Neil Armstrong on the moon. Okay, yeah, so that's the picture that they filmed of him when he landed on the moon. What do you think it was like up on the moon? I feel like it was like kind of like, I feel like it would be so weird, like your body would like change so much. How do you think? It's like when you jump, you feel the low gravity. Low gravity, yeah. so what, what, what is gravity? Um... <laughs> It's okay, if you don't know, you can say I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so gravity is a force, it's an invisible force, and it pulls you down. To... So when you jump in the air, you're jumping against the pull of gravity. Gravity is the thing that pulls you back down. Okay, your body force, your movement is the force that comes up, your pushing force, pushing away from gravity. So what you're saying, that there's an invisible hand that is touching my foot, and every time I jump, it's pulling me back down. Yes, we'll think of it as like an invisible hand, but it's a force, okay? And it's a force okay. that keeps us on on the Earth. So on the moon, yes. the gravity is so much less than what we have here. So when they jump, it takes them a long time to land back again. That's why you saw him bouncing the way that he was bouncing, because the way that gravity works is that it, the stronger it is, the more it holds you down. If, if the gravity was too strong here, it would crush us. <laughs> We'd, we'd all crush down because it would be pulling us down to the ground. We wouldn't be able to get up, yeah? So the, the gravity on Earth is just perfect for us to be able to walk around, yeah? And to be able to stay upright and to be able to make to, to, to jump up away from it as well. Well, instead of just letting go of one, what if I give it a sideways push? You see that? Oh, it's still going up. So it's still got the gravity in the middle, but it's going around. So it's actually orbiting, almost as how the Earth does to the sun, yeah? So you've got that big mass in the centre. So it's a big, heavy one in the centre. And when he puts it on a spin, you can see it gains momentum as it's going around because of the way that gravity is trying to pull it down, yeah? So it's orbiting and going around that big mass in the centre. Yeah, it's very clever, isn't it? Yeah, so as, as they move around, because they gain momentum as they come up and down, some of them will go back up, forcing away from gravity. So even though gravity is pulling it down, because it's gained momentum, it's gained movement, it's started to move away from the gravity center that's pulling it down in that middle where that big mass is. Why did that fall faster? Because it was heavier. Good boy. Has more mass to it. It's heavier. Gravity could pull it down quicker. Okay, so they're taking all the air out of that tank because it's all to do with air resistance as well. As something's falling, the air is trying to push it back up again. See that? It won't. It won't go because there's no air pulling it down. No air pulling so it back it up. Can bounce. you see? See it's dropping down. Yeah. 
So gravity is still pulling it and look, they're being pulled at exactly the same speed. Satellites, so satellites are man-made objects that we put into space that help us with, yeah, that's it, that help us with our, they do lots of different things actually. So they, some have cameras, you Why? can see all around the world. Some do GPS so that you can Why do, we do maps of where everything is. Okay, so we use satellites to look all around the world, yeah? So military can use it to, to look all around the world, okay. yeah? Communication satellites. So in order for mummy to call people on this, we need these um, to use the internet. We need these. Oh, so those are the little stars that you're talking about. No, 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 no. no. These are man-made objects that are put into into space. What does SatNav stand for? Uh, satellite navigation. SatNav, satellite navigation. So satellites are used as a giant map, basically, to help you know where you're going. Weather satellites. So they use satellites to predict the weather to work out what's coming and when it's coming yeah when it's raining when it's sunny when there's hurricanes when there's tornadoes and space telescopes so they use satellites and telescopes in space to have a look around space this one if it's night time yeah and the sun comes up it must take a very 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 long time for the moon to come up mm -hmm. well it takes like a one like 10 hours. Yeah, so when the sun comes up, the sun comes up usually around 6 a.m., maybe it's sometimes a bit earlier in the summer, <coughs> sometimes a bit later in the winter. So it differs, yeah? If, if when it, as your seasons change, because in summer, your days are longer and your nights are shorter. You. Show me a star then, you draw a star, show me a star. Draw it down there. Draw a star down the bottom. Brilliant, Jay. Yes, I did it. Lovely. So we've got our star, we've got our satellite. What other things do you find in space? Planets. Planets. Good boy. That's a sun. That's a sun? Yeah. Awesome. So the sun isn't a planet. What is the sun? Star. The sun is a star. Mommy. Should we draw a planet? How about you draw Saturn? Let's see Saturn over Mommy, here. Mommy, not draw what a Saturn body. Like? You draw a body. It's Saturn with the little Mommy. rocks around it. Yeah, Mommy, it's got the rings around it, hasn't Mommy. it? Okay. That's if, if he looks like that to you. He looks like that to you, baby. Huh? It's not broken, Mama. You just have to turn it around. Nice. Aliens. So we've got satellites. We've got the sun. We've got stars, planets, aliens. Couple of all eggs. Yeah. <laughs> And we might find rocks. Riley's doing some good rocks here. Are they rocks, Riley? Rocks that we might find in space, yeah? That's the moon. Nice rocks. And Riley's got some of these aliens down here, Riley. Or are they people? They're people. We might find some people in space. Maybe. I want to draw an astronaut. You can draw an astronaut. Okay, so lots of different things that we can find out in space, can't we? That's it. Very we go. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, is that his big helmet? Yeah, nice. What's the matter with you? You want me to draw you alien? Uh, the astronauts. So we look and see if we can see the astronauts. Riley, are you looking? Mm -hmm. Jay, you have to pull the rest of the pages back. Wow. Take one, the one page. Oh. That's it. You shine the, put it up so the light's going behind it. Oh. No, no, no. What do you mean? One page. Oh. With the rest of the book back. There, can you see? 
Oh wait, right, because they were frecks from the other way. That's it. You see the astronauts in there, Riley, sitting in there. See them? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So let's turn the page. What happens next? Whoosh! The astronauts are strapped safely inside the spaceship. They will continue their journey to the space station. Ooh. This can take up two days. Yay! <laughs> so it can take up to two days. What do the astronauts find inside the space station? What do they find inside? People! Oh, other people. And what are they doing? Bonding. What are they doing? I have no clue. What does it look like they're doing? Trying to Floating. Get... Why are oh, they yeah. floating? Uh, because they're in a because there's air inside. <coughs> because there's no gravity. There we go. We like our painting the solar system. Let's go, oh yeah. What does Saturn have around it? Rings. Rocks. Yeah, a ring. Yeah, in a, in a big ring shape. So we've got, this is Jupiter because it's the biggest. We'll call this one Saturn, shall we? Let's draw some rings around that one. Careful. Okay. And see, so you can draw it onto the blue as well. That's it, a nice long line. There we go. Well done. It. that's the rings around Saturn and what would be coming out the back of the rocket <gasps> boosters and lots of smoke fire. and lots of a bit of fire yeah so out of here you can draw little clouds coming out of the back of the rocket yeah so little okay. swirly patterny clouds there we go that's it and well done. red and red I think that's the closest you're gonna get to the red Okay. Well done. Very good. Wicked. That looks really good, JJ. It's a really good job. Pressure and daddy. Of course you can.